this is a serious push of energy that's encouraging you to be brave, take a risk, and do something you've never done before that's exciting and fills you with fire and passion. Welcome to Abundant Universe, your go-to podcast for becoming your most empowered, powerful, abundant, truest, and highest possible self through self-mastery, quantum healing, spiritual activation, soul expansion, and ascension. Here we talk about your self-concept, subconscious beliefs, science, spirituality, mindful manifestation, magic, mysticism, remembering and embodying who you really are, and all things esoteric. I'm your friendly neighborhood self-mastery and mindful manifestation mentor, energy alchemist, quantum healer, spiritual ascension activator, and host, L. Brandlin. And today we're talking about the second Aries new moon of rebirth this year, which is a super rare occurrence and the solar eclipse that's coming in with it next week. So stick around until the end to find out how to use these insanely powerful energies to initiate a major new beginning in your life and activate a leveling up that your soul has been working toward potentially for multiple lifetimes. Be sure to subscribe wherever you're listening so you never miss an episode. And if you're on YouTube, please like and or comment on the video to help others who could use this information find it because you're a good Samaritan like that. And without further ado, let's get into it. This is not just any new moon. It is our second Aries new moon of the year, which almost never happens. And as I mentioned, it's coming in with a solar eclipse. And that's going to be at 29 degrees, so the last degree, and 50 minutes of Aries. So that's probably why I see so much confusion about which sign it's actually in. This is a serious push of energy that's encouraging you to be brave, take a risk, and do something you've never done before that's exciting and fills you with fire and passion. So we've come full circle from the new moon on March 21st at zero degrees of Aries, which is obviously the first degree of a sign and considered the new beginnings degree. So whatever intentions you set then are picking up power and speed now. And this is some world changing energy that's continuing to usher us into a new era on this planet, with Pluto still at zero degrees of Aquarius, so it's really about the new consciousness that's rising on Earth right now that simply can't be denied. At this time, both the Sun and Moon have a hard square to Pluto in Aquarius, and that makes it even more powerful. We're moving into our next level of awakening with these paradigm shifting quantum breakdowns and breakthroughs that are coming in with these energies. So on a global level, this is about breaking free of certain authoritative structures. And on an individual level, this is about setting us on a new course in our individual soul's advancement and evolution, as well as our own personal manifestation power and potential. And it's an opening for something you weren't ready for previously, but now it's finally the right time to get something started. So this energy is very fertile for bringing in something new and maybe even a full-on rebirth. Because especially in Aries, eclipses help us accelerate and move through things quickly. So check in with yourself and make sure you're not moving forward with any baggage from your past or things, people, or circumstances that you've outgrown. As this new moon is bringing in realizations about who you no longer are, how you're growing and evolving, and how you're shifting into more of yourself, which began last month when the Heaven's Cross portal started opening on March 22nd. 
it's also activating your own inner knowing of your soul's purpose and what you're here to contribute, as well as your cosmic origins, codes, and abilities. And it's even activating galactic energies that you can call upon to help you recode yourself. So you can expect this new moon solar eclipse to help you activate gifts and abilities and even DNA that's been dormant within you. This is a genuine leveling up your soul has been working for across multiple lifetimes, and it's being truly supported by the universe, which is what the activation I'm doing this month for Sacred Soul Society is all about. So hit up the show notes or description box below if you'd like to participate in that. This energy is also meant to clear out past templates that were created by old paradigms and programming, ancestral patterns, cultural traditions, and so on, so that we can continue to shift and evolve. So like I said, join us inside Sacred Souls Society if you want my help releasing that programming so you can clear out those templates, during our second Aries New Moon of Rebirth Karmic Release Ritual and Intention Setting Party on April 20th, because eclipses give us another chance to do some major clearing work before we set or solidify our manifestation intentions. And activate your soul blueprint with us on April 28th to light up codes of remembrance and dormant DNA within you if you're ready right now to step into your full power and your soul's highest expression in human form. You can find that link below as well as links to all the other ways you can get my support and guidance, including my free community where I'm doing a live Ask Me Anything session on April 22nd at noon Eastern time if you're not quite ready to make an investment yet. Be sure to join me on Friday to learn more about your soul blueprint as we dive into a whole series on that. And remember, you deserve to live in a reality of freedom, fulfillment, peace, the highest joy, synchronicity, miracles, magic, and abundance in every aspect of your life because that's what your soul planned for. And I believe in you, so you should too. Much love.